to show you how to make fried potatoes today. Everybody's always bragging. They want me to bring them to their barbecue. And actually last weekend was my cousin's birthday. And she said, cuz, can you please fry these potatoes for me for my party? And so I did. And I took her a dish. Um, so I'm going to get started. So what I did so far was I put a whole stick of butter, melted it. Um, uh, I chopped up one whole onion, put it in there, and about three tablespoons of oil. I already cut up my potatoes, rinsed them, cut the skin off. Um, they're russet potatoes, I like using those. So, sorry about that. So, the onions, so everything's ready, so I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes to the mix now. And the, I just add the salt. Lots of salt. <laughs> And onion powder. That's the key in the onions. And actually my mom showed me how to do these a long time ago. She would make these and steak in the oven. And I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these on medium high. I have an induction oven so it might be a little different than everybody else's. You just want to start it on medium to the potatoes soften a little bit and then you're going to turn it up to like medium high to get them fried so and in between times you're going to you know add the salt and onion powder which I'll show you how to do that but for now so I mixed them up put some more onion powder and I'm going to put a lid on it and just and then we'll I'll come back probably in about 10 minutes and I'll show you what the next back again. These are looking great. I think they're soft enough now. So what we'll do is we'll leave the lid off this time. Some more salt. Some more onion powder. And this time, I'm going to turn up the heat to like a medium high seven, so they can go ahead and fry until they get browned. And more salt, some more onion powder, and then we'll check it again in ten minutes. Hey everyone, I'm back. So I'm just going to stir these some more. You can see. We're getting more brown. And depending on how, on how crispy you like them, and how long you cook them, my family likes them crispy. <laughs> so I usually cook them a little longer. I'm going to add some more salt and some onion powder. Stir it again. And then we'll be back in 10 minutes again. Hey everyone, back again. Just doing a flip here. This definitely takes patience. <laughs> you gotta flip them and let them cook for a little while. I'm going to add some more salt and some more onion powder. Stir them again. They're almost ready. And for some reason your oil starts to cook out and they look a little dry, which mine don't, but if that happens, just add a little bit of oil. It won't hurt. And then we'll be back in 10 more minutes. Okay, we're on the home stretch. This is looking really good. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. 
an onion powder. Stir them a little bit. I think these are ready to go. Plate here, so you guys can see the final result. Take that off there, turn this off, and this is what your final result will be. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell so you can get notifications from other recipes that I have in the future. Thank you.